This video would, will describe the advanced integration method, method between measure square and Q floors. There is a more generic uh, integration to Q floors for estimation. It, there's a video on YouTube called Estimation to Q floors Import, where any estimator that supports FSDE can import their information in Q floors. This video is a little bit more specific. There's an advanced method for doing measure square and Q floors. In order to do this, you have to have three things measure square, Q floors, and the document manager uh, by Q floors. If you don't have those, go look up that other video. It'll teach you how to do the more uh, basic method of integration. So, um, there are two possibilities here. One, measure square, Q floors, and the document manager all on one computer. The other possibility is maybe you have measure square on a separate laptop or something that's out in the field and you're not connected real time to a Q floor server. So you have to do the estimation, then bring the file in and copy it over to the Q floor server. Um, so those are the two situations. I'm going to show you the simplest one first. That's where they're all, all three programs are on the same computer. Okay. Um, so what you would do first is you open up QFloors and hit the new button, create a brand new proposal, which I've already done. I've put Ogden Chad as the name on the on the invoice here and push save. Okay, so that's where we're currently at. You come in and you hit the estimator button here. The very first time you do that, it's going to ask you, do you have measure square? If you don't, if you have some other kind of estimator, you would hit no right here. Okay, but if you do have measure square application, you press yes, and then it's going to ask you where is the measure square application so that I can open it up every time. Okay, and the default is program files, measure square corp, measure square 2014 or 15, whatever it might be, and then you'll find this little blue icon here. Double click on it, and now you're connected to measure square. Okay. You'll notice that uh, first thing it does is bring me up on a blank document here. And and so you can just start drawing your rooms. And I'm going to do a very simple one here so that you can see um, how to do this. I draw a couple of rooms. I'm going to put a product in those rooms. Okay, like this. Okay. And uh, once I put the product in, obviously this, oh, we can put the job information in here first. Probably ought to do that so I don't, don't forget, right? Let's see. Uh, home phone. Um, cell phone. You probably leave those dress. Um, just trying to hurry through this so that you get the idea. Okay, so you put their job information in, put in. Uh, their, their rooms here, then you're going to hit estimate. It's going to ask you what products do you want to estimate with. I select those. And then the third thing is your worksheet, right? You're going to import your estimation for your worksheet. Okay. Now once you get to this point, everything's ready to go. When I hit uh, the save button here, it's going to take a little bit because it's actually saving the file, but it's also going out uh, a PDF document, so it's kind of doing a print too. So uh, the very first time you do this, it takes a little bit. Uh, you're gonna need to wait. Hopefully, you have a fast computer. I, in fact, do not have a fast computer, so uh, it's gonna take me just a second here to get all this processing done. Just wait for the icon to uh, go back to normal like that you saw it just blink and so now I know it's done and now I can exit out of here 
and you'll be back to the QFloors uh, screen where it says start invoice uh, estimator or update invoice. I want to update the invoice with what I just did and then it's going to take me, it'll take just a second to import. I say OK and you can see now that it's imported the information um, into here from the file. Okay, the pad, the install. It's got all the pricing and everything here. It does have the job costing also. Okay, so I can push save now and I have this. Now, here's the interesting part about this. We're on 179, right? So if I click on here, you can see that the docs button has turned blue. If I hit on this, you can see the measure square information that it put into the document manager. The, uh, the PDF there, you know, if you wanted to do the PDF, you'd already see the printout and everything that went along with that job. That's why it took it a little bit to do it. Um, if you hit estimator again, it will bring back the estimator and it will bring you right back up to that uh, project that was already in there. Okay, so that's the integration part of it. If you um, have a, a computer, I don't want to save this. If you have a Floor Estimate Pro on a separate computer and want to do the same type of integration, uh, let me just show you how you might do that. So I'm going to hit the new button here. Let's grab a brand new invoice. Okay. Um, I'm going to put my last name on here again and save this. Okay. And now I'm on invoice number 180 here. And if I hit the docs button, so this would assume that you did your estimation on a on a laptop. QFloors wasn't there. Now you're going to bring that file over and you want to connect it to this document here. Um, what you would simply do is I'm on job number 180 and I want to add a file. And you can see here that there are this would be the estimation folder where you have the, uh, a copy of all the projects that you've just created, right? So um, I'm just going to come here and uh, I'm going to grab this file right here. And the, the part about this is it will save a name, but it will not save the invoice number at the end. The dash and the number equals the invoice number. So if you want it to be connected to the document manager, you basically have to come over on the name, put a space, a dash, a space, and then the number of the invoice that you want it to connect to, which I can see it's 180 right here. Okay. Um, oh, by the way, I have to I actually have to change the name on this. Sorry. So this would be measure space dash space 180 like that and then I select this file sorry and now I open it and now you can see that it's connected right there so now when I hit the estimator it will know that that file is created and it automatically brings it in here if I uh, do the estimate and the worksheet that's the same as before hit save okay it's going to take a second to save it again, just like before. Um, you can see it's kind of going through uh, a QFloors import file, FSD. It's got to create the PDF, so that very first time it does take it a little bit, so you're going to have to wait unless your computer is a lot faster than mine, which probably is. This, uh, this computer is rather, rather slow. You can see down here on the thing that it, it's kind of pegged it out. Um, all right, so now we're ready to go and we hit exit and then we do update invoice just like what we did before and then we'll put all the information back in here again. Okay, so those are the two methods. Again, one is if you have measure square, Q floors, document manager all on one computer. You can start in QFloors, hit the estimator button, and then create the estimate right there. If you're on a separate computer, you create the estimate external. You come to QFloors, you hit new, you create a new invoice, hit the docs button here, 
and then attach that project first before hitting the estimator button. Okay, it's the only difference. The result, the end result is the same. Okay, thank you very much. Appreciate your time.